Majesty, Theodora, Ube Queen, Oye Bade. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I just want to know you well. What's your name? Afambo. Theodora, Ube Queen, Oye Bade. Hello and welcome back to my show, HRM Children Youth Empowerment Show. Right, today is another day, and this program is to empower the youth. Everyone can benefit from this show anyway, but special attention to the youth. Right, before we start the topic of today, my name is Theodora Ibekwe Oyebade. For those who do not know me or those who haven't watched my show before, I am a princess by marriage and a queen by recognition. I am an actress, producer, and a publicist. That is a brief description of who I am. The rest you can go to Google. All right. Last week we talked about dressing up. Yeah dressing up we're still on that topic dressing up before we go right there to that topic I'm going to mention that as soon as I gave the task for last week trust me wow I'm very proud of everyone watching this program to be honest I received so many entries in five minutes so many entries when I mean so many I mean, I got up to 30 entries in five minutes. Most of them were right, some were wrong, but at least they tried, they made effort. But the most important aspect is that at least they're interested in this show, they're watching it, and they want to win all the freebies that we have. But I'm going to mention a few people just to acknowledge that I saw all you have done. Now, let me go and mention a few people that actually submitted um five minutes after the show but well, one person is the winner the reason is that person submitted before every other he came in one minute after the other you will not believe me so right in no particular order i'm going to mention some of the names that actually came in in the first five minutes, the question was mentioned. We have um, someone called Queen Esther Isaac. I think this is all the way from Nigeria. We have uh, Nena Christiana. But well, that one disagreed with us. She said that rich jeans wasn't invented by anyone. Okay. That was her opinion. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. That's a good try. Um, we had Divine Layoku, Nkechi Enu, Blessing Olubanjo, Winifred Schleck, Samantha Ntube, Cordelia Eme, Irene Eribo, Rufina Adimora. All these people submitted five minutes after the show. But you know what? One person came first before the rest and that person is Rufina Adimora. Congratulations to Rufina. You won the evening dress worth 400 quid from Stunning Dresses www.stunningdresses.online Thank you so much for supporting us with that outfit and uh, going, going, gone to the winner but not to worry today we have another outfit from stunning dresses trust me this is another fantastic one i'll show you what it is this is a lovely dress well not actually a dress a top and a skirt but it's an evening outfit this is the top with the tag still there it's 402 quid and that is the skirt, a lovely skirt that goes with the top. That is it. 
nice flared skirt to go with that lovely top. Thank you, Stunning Dresses. www.stunningdresses.online. If you want to purchase more, you can go there. Anyway, she's giving us this for free, and that is 402 quid. Thank you for that. Thank you for supporting the show and all that. Thank you very much. So, before we go into the topic of today, I'm going to ask another question that would be revealed next week as in the winner. Now, the topic for today's edition is um, who made the first trousers? Who made the first trousers? Do not forget, that is the question for today. And the winner will be revealed next week. So let's go into the topic of today. And um, the topic of today is still about um, dressing. But we're going to pay special attention to what sort of dressing it is. The dressing we're talking about today is not evening dressing like the last time. Today we're talking about how to dress to an interview. I, like I said, even the last time, first impression matters a lot. So you must always dress to impress. I tell you what, as you walk into an interview room, they already have an impression about your personality. Yes from your dressing. Imagine you're going to an interview as um, a manager and you're wearing a very a skimpy skirt and a very short top. How are they going to look at you? That alone has actually given them an impression of who you are. So, I have some bullet points that I'm going to discuss with you today so that you can understand. I know some of the older people, they know how to dress to an interview. But this, we're going to be addressing the youngsters. It's a program to inspire them, to motivate them, to teach them different things. Right. One of the guidelines to follow when you go for an interview is dress professionally appropriate to the position like I mentioned before you're going for an interview as a manager wear a suit and a suit means wearing a matching jacket and pants for the men although women can wear well trouser suit uh, or a matching jacket and a skirt not a very short skirt not a very long skirt knee length would be nice all right that is an appropriate dressing wearing a suit that will make you look even more confident and very presentable two wear proper proper shoe do not wear the shoe that is open in front, the toes open, no, or at the back open, wear a cut shoe, all right? Now, whatever you are wearing, for instance, the suit that you're going to wear, be comfortable in that suit. If you're not comfortable, you will not put in your best because you'll be battling with the dress you're wearing. Wear something that you, you put on as you walk in or you see them. You can actually move around comfortable. You're not trying to drag your dress all the time. Wear something not too tight, not too loose, just comfy. Or you go and wear, or let's say a man, a suit you wore for your sister's wedding 15 years ago. You're trying to fit him into it. Obviously, the fitting is not going to be the same. 
wear something that will make you comfortable. Right. Avoid loud colors and flashy ties. You cannot be going to an interview. And you probably wear flashy colors. Red tie. Green tie. Yellow tie. It doesn't make sense for the men. Wear a light colored shirt. A dark suit. Jacket and trousers. All right, not flashy, flashy things. You're not going to a party. For the ladies, do not look trendy. You're not going to a party. You're not going to the club. You're going for a job interview. Mm. Be neat, clean, and very well dressed. Always shower the morning before your interview. There are lots of people who do not even shower before they go out in the morning, probably because of the cold. But then, if you're going to an interview, a place you're going for the first time, it's not your regular job where they already know you, you already work in there anyway. They cannot just, you know, stop your work just like that. But they can decide not to accept you just like that. So you've got to be ready. You have to shower and smell nice. Use deodorant do not use very strong perfumes the women or colon the men no use a deodorant don't use um, perfumes have got overpowering smell your interviewer might be allergic to to the smell or might even be choking might not be comfortable with the smell so it's best to avoid wearing a perfume or color use the other one if you don't know what to do have fresh breath brush your teeth very well don't eat or smoke before attending your interview because when you smoke obviously it will be smelly it's not everybody that likes the smell of cigarettes or anything that you smoked and it could be a no smoking kind of environment or workplace the fact that they've smelt that from you they might not even want you you've already given the impression that they do not want and they will not have you no matter what you know you have done in the interview no matter how you performed so please do not smoke before entering an interview and try if you can avoid not even eating because sometimes you eat whatever you're eating has got a smell in your mouth and when you talk it's probably smelling you know everyone has got bad breath it is the truth that i'm telling you i'm not trying to be mean but i'm just saying the obvious truth keep your hair neat and conservative the ladies don't go showing up that you have a fantastic hairdresser. Just be neat. If you don't know what to do, be conservative. And when you are going for this interview, be very well dressed. You can be too dressed rather than too casual. Yes, look good. But like I said, professional dressing. Okay, be very professional. A good rule of the thumb is to dress like your boss. Yeah. Well polished shoes you must wear. If possible, match your shoes with your belt. Do not wear shoes that you know run down at the heels. Yeah, there are some shoes that are completely run out. They're worn out, run down by the heels, and you're wearing them to make you look untidy. For your interview, get prepared, look good, and be ready to get a job. So from head to your toe, you must be looking perfectly. Okay, I'm professional. 
for the men shave in the morning of your interview even if you don't shave every day but for that day you're going for an interview make sure you shave so that you can look clean dressing professionally shows respect for yourself the interviewer and the company yeah because actually you're going for an interview and you're not well dressed <laughs> that means you don't even respect the company you're going to work you you think it's a crayfish company where they sell tomatoes it's a professional place you have to look absolutely good and professional like I said men looking at you as you walk in they already have an impression of you sometimes they might even decide to accept you just because of the way you look they might even decide even if they don't want to have you they might decide to find another job immediately just because of your personality maybe you're looking for an admin job and you get there you don't get that job but your personality the way you look they might say okay we have another position maybe a receptionist and you want it they might offer that to you because of your presentation all right so you must look good always when you're going for an interview knee length skirts are good or probably suggested for ladies like i said before don't wear a skirt that is too long or too short you're not going to a party you're not going to the club be presentable don't wear sexy clothes don't wear trendy clothes professional if you don't know what to wear be conservative wear a suit you will not go wrong wearing a suit it could be a skirt suit trouser suit skirt and a top but be professional makeup and nail polish should be understated avoid bright colors yeah you can't be going to an interview and you wear blue eyeshadow red eyeshadow yellow when you're not going to a party it has to be understated all right you're not a masquerade you're not going for a party so why should you dress like that yeah jewelry and hair accessories to a minimum some people like jewelry a lot that's true but always remember you're going for an interview yeah if you're going for this interview and you some people might even wear i've, I've seen someone before wearing um rings on the five fingers and five fingers anyway sometime when i went out in the street and i'm like what is all this for you wear it everywhere even in the nose everywhere visible but if you are going to work, you do not have to dress like that or go for an interview. What you need to do, even if you must wear a ring, wedding band is the best. Or one ring per hand. Not five year, five year. No. It is not acceptable. It will not be nice. It will give a different impression of who you are. You might be a very nice worker, but with all that ring, <laughs> you are giving a different impression about who you are. Right. If you want to wear a hose, obviously wear a hose that is not too bright. Okay something neutral that can match your skin tone and then like i said wear a shoe that is covered not open toe or open back wear a covered shoe it's called cut shoe to make you look smart rather than wearing a slipper shoe or an open shoe trust me you will look more presentable look polished and professional with your hair 
not to advertise what a creative genius your hairdresser is. You didn't go there for hairdressing competition to show your boss that your hair is better than her own. No. Wear something very moderate. Conser be conservative. Don't be so loud with the kind of hair maybe you're going for an interview and you're wearing a blue hair. No. I have a friend who likes so that sort of dressing. She wears blue lips, blue hair and all that. Well, trust me, you will not believe it. If you see her on a work day, in fact, you will not even recognize her. You're going to walk past her. Yes, she has blue lips. You are going to walk past her because she looks very professional, completely different from the person you see her at weekend. So that's different. That's her normal life. She can wear whatever she wants. She can wear anything to a party. But when she's going to work, she remembers that, wow, I'm going to work and I'm going to meet people and serve people. I have to be professional and look professional so that even the person coming into your office will respect you. The workers will respect you. The clients will respect you. And you are also giving respect to the kind of establishment you're working. Tell me, you walk into a bank and people are address anyhow you wouldn't even want to bank there but if you walk into a bank and you see all of them corporately dressed with nice suit nice mild makeup nice hair very conservative and professional my god you'll be praying to be part of them one of them and you'll be praying even to be back in there so that you can actually look at them because you feel, you know, happy, satisfied when you see them well dressed. You know what I mean. You actually know what I mean. So those are the guidelines to follow when you're going for an interview. Because as you are finishing from that uni, you're going to be looking for a job. If you don't know what to wear, Wear a suit, wear a cut shoe, don't wear loud kind of hair, blonde, blue, red, yellow, no. The dark hair is good unless if you're naturally blonde, then that's understandable. Speak respectfully to anybody you see. Walk into the interview place, stand there and wait to be seated. All right, don't overdo things. It's not your normal office, it's not your home. And respect anyone you see there. You never know if you disrespect them, how do you think they're going to accept you? Yeah, they will not accept you because they will be uh, the, the, the impression already is she's rude. So be mindful of everything you do when you walk into an interview. Before you say a single word to the interviewer, you have already made an impression based on your personality, the way you are dressed. Yes. Even I personally, once I see you, I can tell you who you are. So that brings us to the close of today. Right, from the questions we've just asked, we will be expecting answers immediately. The first person to submit their answer will win because obviously a lot of people might get it. So if everyone gets it, we'll only have one winner. So the first one I receive as soon as this question drops on the television, send me a test to 074-04-404-269. I repeat, 074-044-04269. That is the number. You can also email covid 747 at gmail.com. Thank you once again to Stunning Dresses, www.stunningdresses.online. 
thank you that has brought us to the close of today and once again the question is who made the first trousers and last week's answer i have not even mentioned it the question was who introduced ripped jeans last week and the answer is Kurt Cobain Kurt Cobain that is the answer almost everyone got it but two people failed it they know themselves I don't want to mention it so that is the answer and the next question is who made the first trousers I expect to get a winner immediately thank you very much for watching and see you next week same time Name Afambo Theodora, the queen, who you